Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Alex's wife was driving their Tesla Model 3 home after work in Madison, Illinois. As she approached a yellow light, she decided to enter the intersection rather than risk sliding on the wet pavement. At the same time, the driver of a gray Nissan Altima made a U-turn, hitting the Tesla on the driver's side and sending it skidding across four lanes of traffic before it stopped in oncoming lanes. The driver of the Nissan then sped off, but not without leaving behind some critical evidence, his license plate. In fact, he also left behind his car's Nissan emblem. Combined with the Tesla cam footage, this all seems to be some pretty incriminating evidence to me. Alex is a Tesla engineer and a huge fan of the safety technologies incorporated in the vehicles. He moved to the durability team a month ago and he's now working on the semi project. Alex promised to send us some Tesla cam footage from the semi. Just kidding, he didn't say that, but we can dream, can't we? Their Tesla insurance deemed the Model 3 a total loss and the comprehensive coverage will pay off their remaining loan balance. He also said their experience with Tesla insurance has been great. Alex is thankful that Tesla did a great job of protecting his wife and daughter. They escaped without a scratch and Alex says he's a Tesla customer for life. Mario was driving his Model 3 in Bridgeport, Connecticut when the driver of an SUV on his left dove for the off-ramp way too late, swerving through three lanes of traffic. Mario didn't notice the SUV in time and crashed into the side of it. Police were called to the scene and after reviewing the Tesla cam footage, they found it to be an open and shut case with the SUV driver at fault. Both drivers filed insurance claims at the scene of the accident. Now Mario is hoping repairs won't take too long since his birthday is just 30 days away and he wants to go on a road trip to celebrate. Greg was driving his Model Y in Omaha, Nebraska when the driver of another vehicle found a novel way to get onto the freeway instead of using the on-ramp. Greg slammed on his brakes for these Dukes of Hazard, which almost caused a truck to crash into him from behind. Alexi was driving his Model Y behind a Porsche 996 Turbo in Delray Beach, Florida. Up ahead, a beautiful vintage Porsche was just pulling out from a parking lot. The driver of the first Porsche was rubbernecking so hard that he didn't notice traffic stopping and crashed into the car directly in front of him. That's one kind of traffic hazard, a car so beautiful that your fellow car enthusiasts crash while checking it out. To be fair, that Porsche is incredible. Leave a comment if you know what model it is. Robin was driving his Model Y in Houston, Texas behind an SUV carrying an unsecured load on its roof. Robin was concerned that the SUV would lose its rooftop load, so he passed the Ford Expedition at the first opportunity. When they stopped at the next light, it nearly got him anyway. Jason was driving his Model Y in Margate, Florida when traffic ahead of him began to slow down. The driver on his left swerved into his lane where Jason escaped an impact by inches. Unfortunately, the driver continued into his lane, slamming full speed into the stopping traffic and causing a four-car accident. Jason stopped and rushed over to check on the people involved. He then called 911 and dispatchers sent police, firefighters, and paramedics to the scene. Our next clip is also from Jason. He was dropping off his wife at the door of BJ's Wholesale Club when the cart demon targeted his car for attack. It hit his Tesla at the same time that his wife opened her door, so he didn't even hear the impact. An employee complimented his car and said that the wind must have moved the cart, but that's not what Tesla Cam showed him when he reviewed the footage. He didn't realize it was his mistake until he saw this clip. Devendra was driving his Model Y in Sunnyvale, California. As he rounded a corner, he noticed a guy doing pull-ups on a light pole. He detracted quite a crowd with six other guys lined up to watch him exercise. When Bo returned to his parked Model 3, he found this sentry mode video. The girl was still in the parking lot when he came back and she told him she's a big Tesla fan and asked him to send the clip to our channel. Bo didn't catch her name, but at least she made it onto Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Julian had just installed an aftermarket front bumper cover on his Model 3. 48 hours later, someone backed into it after changing their mind about parking. 
The other driver tried to blame Julian by shouting, did you not see me? His attitude changed when Julian told him the whole thing had been captured on video. The other driver's insurance provider accepted fault. The initial repair estimate was $1,200 US dollars, but now the repair shop is asking for more since a sensor was also damaged, causing ABS, power steering, and traction control faults. Julian sent us these pictures he managed to snap during the 48 hours before the accident, while his new bumper cover was still intact. Clayton was pulling out of his driveway in his Model S Plaid. He's purchased five Teslas since June of 2020. Apparently, he couldn't make up his mind, and he says it's been easy to flip them since the used car market is so hot. He's owned the entire sexy lineup, but the Model S Plaid is definitely his favorite. Just as he was driving onto the road, he was penny farthed. Yep, it's a thing now. These bikes are so great. This submitter had stopped at a traffic light when, all of a sudden, the vehicle in front of him rolled backward into his Model Y. The submitter approached the other driver, but he refused to provide his insurance information. In the end, the submitter felt he had all the information he needed on his Tesla Camp footage, so he filed an insurance claim, and his insurance provider will now deal with the other guy. John had parked his Model X on the street in Portland, Oregon when a Mercedes came around the corner and sideswiped it before driving off. The Mercedes driver hasn't been responding to their insurance provider or the police. After several weeks of fighting with John, the insurance company agreed to watch the Tesla Cam video before finally agreeing to pay for the damage. Luckily, the repairs only involved replacing one rim, aligning the wheels, and replacing some trim pieces. That added up to about $3,000 US dollars worth of damage, which should be fixed in two weeks. According to the police report, since the driver didn't stop and refuses to respond to the police, there's now a Class C felony warrant out for their arrest. That's a big price to pay for what was only a minor collision. Michael had parked his Model 3 on the street one night in San Francisco, California. He got a push notification that his sentry mode alarm had gone off, so he ran down the block to see what had happened. He noticed damage to his car, took photos, and reviewed the sentry mode footage to find that the driver of a truck had hit his car while exiting their parking spot. While carefully watching all the footage, Michael noticed the driver pull into that spot and open his door. When he pulled away, there was a wet spot on the ground that wasn't there before. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Michael filed an insurance claim, but he hasn't received any repair estimates yet. He also hasn't heard if they found the guy responsible or got any information about him. Wait, 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 what is that? Is that a Cybertruck caught on Tesla Cam? Hold on, that doesn't look right. Are we being pranked? Yes, we are. David recorded this video with his Model S while his wife was driving it and he was driving the Cybertruck wannabe. David is building his not a Cybertruck from a wrecked Prius C. That seems like a strange choice of starting point, but it actually looks really cool. You can follow David's build on his YouTube channel, Cyber Hooligan. The all new Cyber Prius. <laughs> what I did is the Prius C. Come over here. What I did was, so I took out the back seat 22 and a half inches right here. You can see I cut the body completely in half. I cut the body. This is welded this steel beam here and here all throughout and there's one on the bottom as well so you know the, the car doesn't fall apart now i say cyber truck wannabe i can't make it look like a cyber truck because the wheelbase is so short right if i make it look like a cyber truck 